neither of today's dino species are from dry deserts. They're used to lush forests and plenty of water. The herds are breaking up as they follow the camels over that first dune. I don't think the sty's squat legs are designed for hill climbs. Only two styes remain ahead of the paras. They're leading at the front and trailing at the back with the paras scattered in between. The lagging styes will have to catch up. Oh no! Sandstorm! I can't see a thing! How will our dinos be dealing with this, Tim? The styes have small bony bumps on top of their eyes. Uh, they won't be offering too much protection, though. I think the styes' best bet is to huddle in their herd. The whole point of travelling together is protection. Granted, usually from carnivores and not sandstorms. And the paras? What was that? Mesozoic music. Come again? The crest of the parasaur. Paleontologists blasted air into a skull specimen to discover it made a sound just like this. Like a flute. Or maybe a tuba. <laughs> I can't believe we're hearing it here in the dome. OK, so what are they saying? I don't speak parasaur olifus, but I guess they're indicating to each other where they are in the hazy sandstorm. Hazy come, hazy go. The Paris have regrouped and are moving as a complete herd. The crest comms worked. They're so far ahead. With just one sand dune left to climb. The poor styes have been separated. There are one, two, three on top of that dune, four at the bottom of that one, Two lagging behind with the camels. That leaves one... There! At the base of that dune. It, is she licking the sand? Maybe it's a mirage. I know it's thirsty work, but no one wants a sandy tongue, Sky. Keep moving. The real oasis isn't too far away. The camels are coming to help her. Maybe they can give her some water from their humps. Uh, look, I want to say anything goes in the dino dome, but no, uh, camels don't store water in their humps. They're filled with fat. It helps them with energy and to go a long time without food. Oh, well, up and at them, straggler. Follow the camels. The, the paras could be clear winners here, Amanda. You might be right. They've reached the top of the final dune and... Playful paras, they're roly polying down the sand. We love to see it. For more Titanosaur twists and turns every Thursday, ask your grown up to download the ABC Kids Listen app, free from your app store. Or look for Kids Listen on the ABC Listen app. Catch you there for more Dino Dome!